Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. There's a side stick controller event you won't want to miss. In this corner, the Invictus Cockpit Systems VFS 2.0 versus Peon Hang Pro Base. The side stick controller, Super Smackdown. Come see these side stick controller heavyweights battle it out to be the first to be in my cockpit. Drink free bourbon! Bring back heads! This shit is gonna be wild, says Jackson, probably. Welcome, 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 welcome. Man, feels fucking good to be back where I can fucking curse again and drink bourbon. Uh, you know, not that I haven't been enjoying myself building the cockpit, but, you know, this is good to kick back and enjoy a drink and not to worry about power tools and ways to hurt myself while drinking alcohol. And I've really been craving doing another bourbon and DCS video, and now I have an excuse to do it. So today I am drinking Blood Oath Pack 10. Now, Blood Oath is long been one of my favorite bourbons of all time i first had packed six seven i think six six or seven i don't remember long time ago this place now in town called the shelby and uh, i couldn't believe how good it was they only make one a year you've seen me drink pack eight and nine i think pack time was released a couple weeks ago pretty recent and you'll see i am drinking it neat um, when it first came out, I got my hands on two bottles. This bottle is unopened. My other opened bottle is where I poured this from. This is only my second drink of it, actually. And, uh, you know, being my favorite bourbon, it is a worthy occasion. When do we get into these two fucking heavyweights? God damn. Mm. Blood Oath Pack 10 is extremely smooth, extremely sophisticated, dark, rich, chocolatey, a little bit of mocha. It's a very, very, um, it's a sophisticated bourbon. It's really sophisticated. It's heavy. It's, it's got a lot of going, it's got a lot going on there and that's why it's my favorite. So cheers everyone. It's good to be back. I got a lot to celebrate. Found out a day or two ago, I was, uh, promoted to captain. So I'm going to captain school in December. So exciting news all around, but enough about me and some bourbon. Let's talk about this goddamn sticks. So we've got the Tian Hang Pro Base here, along with the Invictus Cockpit Systems um, VFS 2.0. Now, the you'll notice it's a little awkward here, and the reason for that is because the uh, F-16 stick is currently mounted to the Tian Hang, and I've got an A-10 stick, which is not canted forward, it's straight up and down, mounted to the VFS, because I don't have a spare F-16 stick that has the angle adapter handy to to mount to that so you're gonna have to make do with what we got going on but um a lot of good content for this video i worked really hard in that intro so <laughs> i hope you enjoy okay before i go and uh, bolt everything up to the table here um this is what came with mine now i didn't order this piece with it actually and he sent it to me anyway so i don't know if there was a mistake or if he forgot, or if it's something he threw in for free because I've been waiting for so long, or if he's just doing it because he knows I make these videos, or he's trying to bribe me. I, I have no idea. Probably not bribe, but the bribe part, but um, I didn't ask for this mounting plate, and he sent it to me, so that came with it in a separate box along with uh, this cable and these four screws, but what you do get is a beautiful case, just like all his other products, with his now gorgeous gold plate for it i guess i'm uh number 5001 um it also came with a really nice um loop and a very long professional looking remove before flight tag that i've already taken off and put on my flight bag because it's like it's not like a little keychain one it's like a long like official one like you'd see plugging in the safety handle of an injection seat so cracking this puppy open you see 
We've got the base, obviously, and I mean, it is robust, rotund. It is solid, man. It is a unit. It, <laughs> it weighs something, I'll tell you. God, man. Um, top, what you'd come to expect, very similar to Chris's SSC. Uh, no markings that I can see on here. And uh, that connector, I have no idea what kind of connector that is. I've never seen anything like that before. Maybe someone with some more expertise in electronics can, can clue me in, but also uh, comes with a very, get off, I only have one hand, very plastic, uh, 3D printed. Um, it's the front part, it goes on, let's see here, it goes on like this, to the front of this. So really it's the same, it's the same as the Invictus cockpit systems. Uh, so for a few minor differences, but I'm gonna bolt this thing up to the table and we'll take it from there. All right, so I gotta get bolted up here, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a little concerned when I checked it in the Windows, um, the Windows USB thingamajig, whatever you wanna call that, and cause it like, it, it's it got like, it has extreme centering pressure, like it clicks into place. There's a very, very, very tactile centering detent, which is funny, because I like centering detent in rudder pedals, but I don't like it so much in sticks. I'd rather the stick position be very, very, very fluid. Um, and it takes a lot of pressure to break it out of that center position. And it seems to be a little, I don't know how to quite say this. It's got a certain, I don't know, but my fears were kind of unrealized once I finally put it in DCS and I actually tried flying it in the F-16 and it felt a lot better. I also added a curve of about negative 20, and that seems to be a lot better. But also, as I understand it, Tian Hang has made it such that the curves for this thing are completely realistic to what a real F-16 would have. So it takes a lot of force to pull the thing back, but I mean, that's what the real F-16 is like, you know? And I care about realism to a fault. So let me get to the clouds here so you can see what the hell's going on. But. There's, this is a random instant action mission, so there's like live targets here, but I dropped the bags and everything and I put it in uh, Cat 1, so it should be fully maneuverable, but you know, it takes a lot of force to pull it back and get to the maximum displacement, like it's tough. It's really like it's, <sighs> I'm really pulling on it. So, you know, I mean, that's how the real F-16 is though, as I understand it. Um, also, to note is my body position. I am sitting in a chair here, Indian style, and my arm is fully extended, and that's not how you fly the damn thing. You're normally in a much more relaxed, neutral position, so this could be a symptom of how I have it mounted to my desk, you know, but it also has a neat little, you know, let's, I'll just do it for you. It buzzes and flashes at you. The, the buzzing, it's, it's like a little vibration motor, so you feel it, which is very handy if you're in VR, I suppose, um, but, yeah, it's actually, it's it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. It lacks that certain je ne sais quoi. I don't know how to quite say it, but, you know, I, I really wanted this to be the definitive base out there, but I find myself kind of pining for Chris's SSC. I won't lie to you. More on that in a second, though. Let me... Um, also, something of note is that I've, I don't have the bracket. Well, I have the bracket, but not the screws to mount this to something. So I've literally just got it clamped at the desk, and it's not, you know, it's not super. I got this as tight as I can make it, and it's still, you know, forward and backward is fine, but it's still not exactly the best when I move it around. So kind of unfair. Ultimately, what's going to come down to is I'm going to have to simply put this thing um, into the actual cockpit and fly with it and put Chris's SSC into the cockpit and fly with it and see which I like bester, uh, better, bester, listen to me, better. And that's gonna be the deciding factor. I don't have to tell you, man. Because, and here's the part where like, I really, really wish I had flown an F-16 or at least touched a real F-16 stick and moved it around or flown the F-16 sim. You know, funny story, I actually got offered to fly an F-16 simulator in Tucson I was in Phoenix doing my um, initial operating experience for Legion, and I had a buddy there going through Viper School in Tucson. He's like, dude, come to Tucson, rent a car, drive to Tucson, I'll put you in the Viper Sim. And I'm like, nah, man, I don't really have the time or the money to be renting a car right now, and I should have done it. God, fuck, what's the wrong with me? I'm stupid. Anyway, but um, 
yeah, so that's that's the, the flight demo. So we're gonna we're gonna talk aesthetics now. So we unboxed the Tian Hang. We unboxed the. Or I'm sorry, we flew with it a little bit. Um, let's talk about the uh, the looks. They both sit relatively about the same height, I'd say. Uh, the Tian Hang's a little closer to the ground. Um, now my friend Jackson was kind enough to print me one of these in TPU. It's a boot that would cover up the uh, stick, just like in the real thing. Um, it fits for either one. He will sell you one of these. Uh, I'll post his email again. I posted it before, but I'll post it again. If you want one of these, he will happily print and sell you one, um, which is really nice of him. And then even more nice of him is he actually sent me a real F-16 SSC. It's metal, a real one. Um, I don't know what you even call this, like the front shroud for the wires. So I've got a real one of these puppies to actually compare it to. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, bro. I know I've already thanked you directly, but like, thank you for this. Like really, truly, I got a little emotional when I pulled this out of the box. I'm like, God damn, that's fucking real. And he did that. He just gave it to me as the kindness of his heart. So thank you, man, truly. So real quick, uh, this thing, I've compared it to Tian Hang's. I've compared it to Chris's and it's, it's identical. It's literally identical. Um, it's, it's completely the same, down to every little angle, dimension, and thickness. So they, they both are neck and neck as far as the shroud goes. Um, <clears throat> as far as the height, we already covered that. I think Chris's higher uh, stick height actually might be more realistic overall. Um, of course, this is the VFS 2.0, and so it does not have uh, any displacement. Now, I understand Chris is working on the 3.0, which actually will have some displacement, but I am planning on printing myself a TPU ring to put in there, um, like inside there, because I've got a 3D scanner now too. And I mean, I can just take the freaking measurements. It's not even necessary to scan the damn thing, but I'll add some displacement myself um, because having flown now with the Tian Hang one, that centering pressure is... It's fucking weird, man. It's fucking weird. I don't... It's really left me conflicted. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of feelings and I'm feeling a lot of emotions and I'm, I'm really... I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just emotional right now and I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> I might cry a little bit. I might... Hey, run. <laughs> Glass case of emotion. No, I'm fine. Um, so it's like I said during the actual testing of moving them around. Though I'll probably have to mount them both in the cockpit and try them both in the cockpit and just see which one I like better and may the best stick win. But let's get back to the aesthetics. So um, you'll notice here there's a band. Chris has it too. Now uh, that is completely realistic to the F-16. Uh, at Jackson, ironically, Jackson sent me a video today of his real SSC where he took this band off and he's fucking with shit in there to, uh, he's doing Jackson things that he just can't leave his toys alone. He always has to be fucking with them. And um, so that, that comes off and I've got this book here. This is the uh, Modernized Viper Guide. It's actually made for people who make plastic aircraft models like I used to and I will again one day, but I've got pictures of real F-16s in here and so, Taking a look at this, you can see that um, the markings on, well, first off, the boot is fucking perfect. So good job on that, Jackson. Um, the shroud also is perfect, clearly. So no real surprises there. Uh, but the um, actual markings on it, Tian Hang has none. Chris actually has some markings in there as well as that back plate. Looks really good on Chris's. Tian Hang has none. Um, let's see, there's a better one in here somewhere. Where did I find it? There you guys, you can see the boot a little better there. Um, the stick's got some wear on it. Yeah, 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 very cool. Uh, just another angle, really. Focus. Thank you. So what's really interesting to me is how the shades of gray for... Um, that and the SSC and the shroud are all three different shades of gray. Now that could be from different batches of paint, that could be from different discrepancies, that could be from, you know, five million different things, but it's fascinating to me how they're different colors like that. Um, I think this is the last good picture of the SSC that's in this book. But uh, as far as aesthetics go, Chris wins by a long shot. Um, now, what I don't like 
about Chris's SSC is we're still tied to this fucking goddamn cougar board. Give me a break, man. I really, I really hate messing with that. And Chris, I know you're watching this. I'm really sorry for ragging on you like this dude, but like, man, you've really got to get that standalone PCV board out there. I mean, Tian Hang, what he's done, I think, is just using MM Joy or Free Joy or something like that. And I mean, it's off-the-shelf stuff. I don't see why you couldn't do something like that as well. I mean, you know better than I do, so you know what the fuck do I know? I'm just some guy, you know, Monday morning quarterbacking you here, but I'm, <laughs> I just, it's not you, it's the Cougar. I really hate the Cougar software and the Cougar shit, and that's why I didn't plug the stick in to fuck with it on my computer to compare to the Tian Hang one, because you can go watch my review of his stick, or his SSC, rather. I just didn't feel like plugging it in and dealing with it again, but man, after flying with this one, I almost want to again, just because... I don't know if I've just got like rose colored glasses looking at this back one, but I, I wanna be completely perfectly honest, open and candid with you here. I honestly thought this was going to be a complete sweep. I thought the Tian Hang one was certainly better and that's that and pff, no contest, just fucking game over, man. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm Maybe I'm splitting hairs here. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm losing it and I'm finally splitting hairs here. I don't actually know which one's better. I mean, when my cockpit is done, the one I'm building downstairs, I'm sure you've all been watching the videos. The first part I'm gonna build is the right console wall, console wall, and the first thing I will do is throw the cradle in there and the seat in there and I will sit down and I'll fly with both these sticks before I finalize it and I will pick which one I want to put in there and you'll get to see which one I put in there, but I honestly, right now, flip a fucking coin that's how unsure i am it's honestly ridiculous i didn't expect to be this conflicted in this video I, I am unprepared for this so markings chris wins ease of use and pcb tian hang wins for the actual like construction tie toss up there well this is metal on chris's and this is plastic on tian hang so slight edge to chris's stick the feel <sighs> that's the part I'm most conflicted about. Like, realistic displacement, better feel. Now, Chris has, like, premium, 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 like, amazing cream of the crop, like, as good as the real thing, transducers in that, and he's told me that's why his is better. He might be right. He might honestly be right. Um, it's just, I'm a stickler for realism, and the real stick moves, and this one doesn't. And I mean, even Jackson, his his SSC doesn't move, and he's like, bro, it, it's you don't need you don't even need to notice the movement. It's it's fine with it being completely static, but I just can't let it go. I can't let it go. I just can't let it go. So, as far as the the movement goes, toss up price. Tian Hangs is cheaper than a complete kit by Chris, but you do get what you pay for. Um. What else can I really talk about here? Overall conclusion, man, it's gonna be violent. The day I actually put both these sticks and, and fly with both of them, it's going to be violent because, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example. So this is my A10 stick right here. Um, the one I fly with in the, uh, my A10 cockpit when I fly A10 stuff. Um, I recently just got this stick back from Jackson. He actually wired real auto and I think they're all auto switches in there and there's no Mason ones. And um, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, the Tian Hang, EMS and TMS and Trim Hat and CMS actually feel better than the mil spec. Oh, the Trim one's better. I'm not gonna lie to you, but the Tian Hang ones are more tactile and clicky but fuck what I like, this is what's in the real thing. You know what I mean? So like, if I were a real A10 pilot, I don't get to be like, oh bro, I don't like how not clicky your switches are. Can you make them clickier? You fucking get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So, and what do I care about? I said it 89 times now, realism. So if that's what's realistic, that's what I'm gonna pick every single time. So I've got a real F16 friend. I'll probably have him over and I'll have him try both and I'll tell you what he says. Cause if he tells me if this is how the real one feels as opposed to that one, guess what? I don't care if this is less realistic, or I'm sorry, less uh, nice to fly with. I'm picking the realistic one. At the end of the day, that's what you're doing. You're, you're simulating here. You want it to be as real as possible. And if the real thing is not as nice as the 
replica thing, well then you fly with it because it's all about simulation and pretending it's the real thing. So that's my honest conclusion. That's what I got for you. Um, man, this video was not at all what I expected it to be. Not at all. But uh, I just passed 800 subscribers, so thank you all for that. Even though I've told you every single video, I don't give a fuck if you like or subscribe, I still have 800 people doing it. The ironic thing is I think I get to monetize my videos when I get to 1,000 subscribers, but <laughs> I don't think I can monetize my videos because I curse too much. I don't think you're allowed to curse in your videos, and I will be fucked if I go back through my videos and censor every single time I curse. Can you imagine? That would take me years to do that, but... Anyway, um, I'm sorry that this is so inconclusive and I can't give you a more solid answer. Um, I wish I had a more solid answer for you. I really do. I really, really do. I wanted one stick to thrash the other. That's simply not the case. It's simply, simply not the case. So I'll tell you which one I like better. Once my cockpit's more closer to being complete. And uh, as usual, thank you for watching my videos. I don't give a fuck if you like or subscribe, and there'll be more content to follow. Thanks for watching.